The Rocky Horror Picture Show is a must for all of you. If you don't go and see it, I shall personally come around to your houses and drag you out by the scruff of the neck. I shall belt you around the mouth and mouth you around the belt. Do you understand what I'm saying? See the Rocky Horror Picture Show, rated R, under 17, not admitted without parent. I'm listing rather heavily to the starboard side. And unless I can paddle my way to the kitchen and find some high ground, I may not be with you much longer. Well, at any rate, whilst I attempt this intricate naval maneuver, here's a story about a man named Sam Preston, which I refer to as the helpful hitchhiker. You probably never heard of Sam Preston. I didn't till one rainy night in spring a couple of years back. I was barreling along Highway 6 into the foothills of the Rockies in a 30-ton diesel carrying about 20 tons of high-octane gasoline. It was pretty windy, too, as I recall. But even though the visibility was not so good, I had to make time on account of that flat I had outside Omaha. Almost midnight, and I wanted to get to a diner and get some coffee because I needed it pretty bad. I was having trouble staying awake. I've been doing these long hauls for about 15 years now, but I never made this route. Anyway, I'm doing about 50 and staring at the white line in the highway, and rain is splashing off the windshield, and the wipers are going lickety-split. And then I saw him. Now, I'm not one to pick up hitchhikers. You never know. Might be a hijacker. Besides, we got orders not to. I got a glimpse of him as I went by, and... What the devil, here's an old guy out in the storm and no raincoat, and it's a good ten miles to anywhere. So I hit the brakes hard, and I could feel all that gasoline sloshing around in the big tank piling up the weight behind me. But I pumped the brakes till I stopped and then waited for him to catch up. Boy, was he soaked. He swung up into the cab and dropped into the seat. Thanks, fella, he said. Here, I said, and I handed him a towel that I always keep handy for washing and shaving. Before I even asked him, he tells me he was out walking and got caught in a storm. Wasn't going far, he said, but every little bit helps. Seemed like a gentle old guy, gray hair and all. Used to be a driver himself, so he knew all about trucks and long hauls. Said he stopped driving about ten years ago, and now he had a part-time job. Didn't tell me what it was. His name was Sam Preston. Anyway, he knew the roads, and we talked some. Every so often, I'd glance over at him. The lights from all the dials on the dashboard gave him a funny look like he was sitting there in a kind of a misty glow. And his voice was like a whisper that somehow cut through the noise of the motor. Those diesels make quite a racket, you know. Oh, he asked about my kids, which was pretty strange since uh, I didn't recall saying anything about them. Well, after a while, he told me that the place he got off was just a little ways ahead, and so I started to slow down. Just before he got out, he, he told me about a diner that was about two miles up ahead, but said to be careful because of a hairpin turn just before you come to it. The curve was not so bad, but this time of year there might be rock slides, especially with all the rain. He jumped out and thanked me, and I leaned over to the other side of the cab to thank him for the tip, but I couldn't see him. And just like that, he was gone. I didn't see any houses. So about ten minutes later, I ran into that hairpin turn, and it was a good thing I was taking it easy, because there in the road ahead was a great big rock slide, just like Sam said there might be. I left the lights on, and I jumped out. The truck couldn't get by, and I'd have to call the main office. I crawled over the big boulders, and I saw the lights of the diner. Just then, a state trooper car drove up and told me they'd have a bulldozer there in a couple of hours and I could get through then. So I went over to the diner. I made the call and the dispatcher was pretty nasty. I was pretty nasty back, too, because all I could think of was 20 tons of gasoline exploding and me in the middle of it. Nothing to do now but wait. I sat down for some coffee and told the guy behind the counter all about it. I told him that if it hadn't been for Sam Preston hitchhiking, 
I might look something like those hamburgers he was frying up. <laughs> the counterman dropped a fork, and he looked at me. Who, he said? Sam Preston, I said. Lives around here someplace. Maybe you know him. Used to be a truck driver. Yeah, that's right, said the counterman. Sam Preston was a truck driver. About ten years ago, he was caught in a rock slide out there about where your truck is standing. He was killed. <laughs>